It is back to school time for students, which means a change in sleep habits. And experts say kids should start transitioning into a healthier rest schedule. Now. I hated this part as a kid. Yeah. Um, but Dr. Anupamjit Sekhon, she is here with us right now. She's a sleep expert at Kaiser Permanente San Bernardino, and she's here with some tips for some families. First off, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so many kids, they've been staying up pretty late all summer long. Why is it so important to start developing just a more regular sleep cycle? That's a very good question. Now, a regular sleep-wake schedule ensures better sleep. Better sleep leads to a healthy life. Now, a consistent sleep schedule not only improves academic performance in children, but it also helps prevent sleep-related disorders like insomnia. Now, when you have a regular sleep-wake schedule, it is fundamental to both your physical and mental well-being. After all, we spend one-third of our life sleeping. So it's important that we go to bed the same time and wake up at the same time, even on weekends. Oh, that's not what kids want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and some age groups are getting later start times this year. And so does this mean that they can stay up a little later? I think it sounds like I'm asking on behalf of the kids. That's probably the argument they're right. making. School starting later, I can stay up later. But is that is that the thinking? So the uh, age groups that are getting a later start date are, you know, preteens and teenagers. They are the ones who spend summer months going to bed late, waking up later. Now, they have an internal shift in their internal or biological clock, which makes them sleepy later, which is why the later start date. Now, the aim should not be to go to bed later because we're waking up late or we have the opportunity to wake up late, but to make sure those teenagers and preteens, they get eight to 10 hours of sleep a night. So the long and short of it is no. Yeah, so the eight to 10 hours. Okay, so that explains as teens why we slept so much. What about the younger kids? How much sleep should they be getting to, to properly function at school? So for uh, um, kids six and above till 13, they need anywhere from nine to 12 hours of sleep a night to be alert, to be able to focus and function well at school. And what can parents do if kids are having a hard time sleeping? So now they've spent better part of their summer waking up late. Now, let's say they were waking up at 11 or 12, and now they got to wake up at 7 a.m. So there's a four hour or five hour time difference that they have to make up for. It takes one day to adjust one hour of your sleep cycle. So for some of the kids, it may take a week to transition back of you know going to bed earlier, waking up earlier, but for some kids, we may need to do it two or three weeks in advance. But there are a few other sleep hygiene tips that can be you know, done along with this time change, like having a winding down routine, you know, taking a warm shower, reading a relaxing book, being off of electronics an hour or two before bedtime, you know, Result. having like a journal to write down what are you going to do the next morning have a cool dark room things like that can help ensure an easy transition back to school the study of sleep i love it so much and okay <laughs> enough of the kids what about the parents real quick how much sleep do adults need so adults need anywhere from seven to nine hours a night wow. seven to nine hours how about five failing. and a half six yeah <laughs> Uh, you know, there's a small percentage of adults who are short sleepers who function well with six hours of sleep, but everybody else under the bell curve, they still need seven <laughs> to nine hours of sleep. All right, doctor. Yeah. I love that. So yeah. much good information in kids. Yeah, Go really to bed is. early. Go to bed early. Yeah. And I the love this, later. the sleep routine advice is really good because yeah. it's back to school for a lot of kids now or next week and they don't have a lot of time to transition. So those right. are helpful tips of how to just kind of ease that transition. Doctor, thank you so much.